Hi, everybody. Today is week two of our intention challenge. I set up the intention challenge for May because I wanted to give you little tips periodically about how to use intention, not just to fix something in yourselves like your health or your finances, but to heal something in your life. And there are loads of things beyond your own healing that you can do with intention. You can fix relationships with intention. You can help your pets with intention. You can make your plants grow with intention. You can help your business, your community, your workplace, your coworkers. You can change the whole frame of your life but you need to be intentional about it. And you also have to recognize that you're broadcasting all the time. You don't just broadcast when you're thinking about an intention that you'd like to achieve. Like, you know, I'd like, I'd like X amount of money in my bank account, or I want to fix the persistent pain in my right leg. You're broadcasting 24 seven, those 70,000 thoughts you have every day are mostly negative. I found that over and over again in my classes. So I want to help you broadcast with a positive message, particularly with people you don't get along with. So the intention challenge for this month, for May, is all about doing an intention for someone that you're not getting along with. It can be your partner, it can be your children, it can be your parents, it can be your coworkers or friends or neighbors or even people of another political party. Although we're going to be working on that in subsequent months in our intention challenges. But this time, just focus on someone in your sphere of influence that you're just not getting along with. Let's first think about what happens when you talk to them. Invariably, when we talk to somebody we don't like or we're not getting along with, this is what's happening in our little internal monologue. We're thinking, what a jerk. We're thinking, I really hate everything he stands for, or I really don't agree with him. That's going on while you're listening to them. Or you're thinking things like, well, this is what I'm going to say to reply to this person, and I'm right. And I'm going to demonize him because he's wrong. That's happening more and more and more. We're finding ourselves intolerant of different points of view. So this time, the next time you deal with this person, you interact with them, I want you to start thinking positive intentions about your relationship. My intention is to connect lovingly with this person, no matter how much you can't stand this person. Try that. Try thinking before you talk to them about how you're getting along with them. Imagine visions in your own head, visualizations with all five senses about getting along really better with him or her. Changing the whole fabric of your relationship the entire energy between you. Try that. And when you think about him or her, think positive thoughts about his or her health, if he has an issue, or finances, if that's the issue, or career, if he doesn't like his job. And I'm saying he, but it's she as well. So think positive thoughts around it, radiate out, broadcast positive thoughts my intention is to connect deeply with this person. Then when you listen to them, when they're speaking, listen harder. Don't have that little interior monologue that's trying to counter their conversation while you're hearing. Just listen. Listen and ask questions that are deep and from the heart. And share something when you speak that is deep and from the heart. Believe it or not, the more vulnerable you are, the more likely that person is to share back. 
and to connect more. Try these little intention techniques and see what happens. And I'd love to hear about any success. Now we've set up a special page on my website, lynnmctaggart.com, that's just for comments about the intention challenge. So if you've had a positive situation, you've tried it and it's worked, we'd love to hear about it. All you have to do is this, go to lynnmctaggart.com forward slash the hyphen intention hyphen challenge. Just fill in your name and write what happened. You can even upload a photo. I'd love to see them. If you want more information about that, just look at the little note below. The link below will send you right to that page. Good luck this month, and I hope you meet the challenge. Thank you.